easy now. Well, good afternoon. Bobby Lee here with Hurricane Creek Farms. Yeah, you heard me right, afternoon. We don't normally start filming this time of day, but today is Thursday. It is a regular work day for me, so I'm home for a few minutes on lunch. Got to do a few chores. There's the smoky girl, but she doesn't get fed this time of day. We're gonna ride back here, take some hay to the cows, check on them, do a few other things before I have to head back to the rural world here in just a few minutes. As we come down the hill right here, you see way up there, we got a cow that's out here in this creek bottom eating this grass. Got a lot of buzzards out here, which other than the cow that is not supposed to be out there, we haven't had any animals in these pastures for a few months. So I don't know, maybe a dead deer or something over there. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna be number 503. Long time viewers know her well. Um, yeah, she just jumps the fence, goes wherever she wants to. But got to roll the hay and go get this unrolled for these animals. And so if all goes according to plan, this will likely be the last roll of hay I feed these cows this winter, I guess now it's officially spring, but I'm gonna plan on moving them into those creek bottoms to eat that fescue tomorrow. It's kind of been my plan all week, kind of sticking to it. Um, we'll uh, get this on roll for them. All right, you see they're all, all gonna come over here and enjoy it and say we've unrolled hay on back here on these hills for the last well, four or five days, I guess. I'm trying to think. Yeah, today's Thursday, we're moving them back here on Sunday. So just to kind of spread some more of that organic matter manure around. But they're tired of eating this hay, even though they, they always come running when we first put it out. But I would dare say about half of them are gonna follow us back up that way just hoping and praying that we're gonna open the gate and let them into the other pasture. But one more day, ladies, one more day. Had one calf born yesterday. Had another one this morning that I thought looked real close. I'll try to find them. We got just a few minutes before we got a scat. So our newest calf belongs to this Hereford cow here. If you can see her there. Little heifer, um, she's right at 24 hours old or maybe just a little over it. Um, yeah, there she is, they come out of the pines there. Um, nice little red, white faced heifer. And then over here on the far hill is our cow, Woolly Bear, which speaking of Woolly Bear, cut the pioneer off for a second. Um, somebody asked on one of our previous videos, what, what does the future hold for uh, Smokey? Well, Woolly Bear about, seven or eight years ago was right where Smokey is right now. Um, she was a bottle calf, but she grew off, made a good cow, um, and we kept her. So we'd like to do that with Smokey ultimately. Um, obviously we get a little more attached to those bottle calves than we may to just, you know, a, a typical calf that's raised by its mother. So um, she will be given a chance to stay with us. We're right over there and um, looks like there's a calf laying there. Be sure everything is okay and get it tied. As you can probably appreciate, she's a really gentle cow. Um, again, kind of end up that way when they're bottle raised, or at least typically they do. So, um, yeah, I don't know that we've ever talked a whole lot about her in detail, but yeah, she was just a good cow, um, or, or came out of a good cow. I believe her, how she ended up as an orphan with us, bottle raising her was her mother died. Um, be sure he gets up. Oh yeah, we're sorry to disturb you, but good looking calf. Um, we have actually even our one bull number 018 who's an f1 are we calling him an f1 he is actually her calf um woolly bear's calf crossed with woolly bear and then our um brahma bull that that we had up until a few years ago but um yeah she, she's been a good mom um a lot of times it doesn't necessarily work out like that because the reason you end up with a calf as an orphan is because it didn't have a good mom so you might not want to pass on those genetics so uh we're not we're not 100 convinced to that with smoky yet we'll, we'll see how she does but yep got one tagged um the exciting news our heifers are getting here oh probably just within the next half hour or so so I head up the road um meet our truck driver and uh i gotta get back to work 
Also, big time shout out to my wife, Kaylin. She uh, took the farm truck yesterday, made stop at uh, all the local farm stores, got us a full pallet or a ton of our high mag mineral. And of course our typical kind of variety pack of other feeds, horse feed, cat food, cattle feed. Don't think we actually had to buy any chicken feed yesterday, but yeah, appreciate her doing that. That's gonna be one last thing on my to-do list um, tomorrow, because tomorrow is my day off this week. But yeah, let's go meet those new heifers. All right, there they are, 30 head of them. We're gonna get out of here and leave them alone. Uh, we'll probably come by here after I get done with the office here in a few hours, just check on them, make sure everything's good for the day. But good looking bunch, 30 of them. Um, just exactly what we were told they were gonna be. So that's a good sign, got them some hay. Um, tentative plan is to move them out of this pasture and on back to more grass in the morning, but we'll let them stay tucked in right there for the night. Okay, so fast forward a few hours, about 6 p.m. Just wanna stop by and check on them one more time for the evening. They're, they're a little, I won't call them flighty. They just obviously don't know us at all. So there they go. We, um, they're kind of our plan in the morning was to go ahead and move them back. I don't know how well that'll work because I don't know if they'll be willing or understanding to follow the Jeep, but got the wild man here to help me. Um, we'll go over here to the box, see if they went in there. We put them a little feed out, see if they actually ate or not. But um, yeah, all appears to be good here. Beautiful day, I think like mid seventies. Oh yeah, and they walked on back up here. So I think they know what a feed bunk is. We put them some feed in there earlier. Um, they had eaten, see one has gone back in there. So yeah, we'll be back down here in the morning and see if they'll, they'll follow us on back to the next pasture with a little bit of calling. Well, good morning. Told you yesterday, I think I alluded to it, that we were going to move these cattle into the creek bottoms, let them graze, and so uh, that's what we're doing. They came running when they heard us. They're ready to get out there on that grass, and uh, looks like our old buddy 503 in typical fashion is already out there. You know, she doesn't need to wait for the gate to be open. She just jumps. Yeah, there she is out there. Of course, right now she probably thinks she's in trouble and she's trying to hurriedly find where to jump back in, but little does she know that, nope, this is actually the day we're gonna let everybody in there, so. Doing a little mineral. That calf, I really like that calf. That was the one born on like December 24th, I guess, Christmas Eve. Oh, terrible cold. Oh, they're so dramatic and loud. All right, y'all. Come on, let's go eat some grass. Y'all go on. So dramatic. Oh yeah. One of their favorite days of the year, no doubt. Our challenge will be, we're gonna have a lot of calves that are not gonna figure out how to get out of that pasture, maybe even some cows. So we'll leave the gate open where they can go back and forth. Uh, probably tell we got a little bit of a sunrise over there but nasty looking off to the west I, i'm trying to talk here you're so rude but um yeah if there was any question whether or not it was spring yet i believe our overnight lows were like in the upper 60s um t-shirt first thing this morning the wind is blowing like crazy and we're expecting severe thunderstorms so Yes, welcome to spring. Um, we're glad for it, mainly for this reason right here, green grass. But I'm gonna ride down there. I, I do wanna keep them just in this bottom for the next few days. I need to shut a couple of gates. Um, yeah. Hope they are excited. And as predicted, most of the calves didn't figure out how to get in here. We had a few, we got four or five that made their way through the gate, but those will, will be just fine. There's one of our newest calves, a little red white faced one there, and her mom. Um, her moms will go back and get them, or maybe they won't, and they'll just go back and, 
and uh, let them nurse as the day goes on. Looks like that might be where Miss 503, we worked on these fences. All right, we better watch her. Um, we worked on these fences, what, a couple weeks ago in a video. Yeah, I believe this is one spot where she jumped because she's obviously broken our top wire there. So, yeah, thank you, 503. You, you make my life a little more complicated. Well, she had another good calf this year. She's, and obviously this is a big butt, but other than that one bad habit, she's a pretty good cow. So. <laughs> okay, and yes, most of them right here. We're gonna head count in a minute, but yeah, look at this clover. Is looking good. We uh, so I'm gonna shut them out of these other bottoms just so we can rotate them here in a few days. Uh, well, actually went over and looked on the neighbor's place just a little bit, and that grass over there even looks better than I expected. Um, this is some of our best graze in these pastures. We we just put back in this perennial mix what, a year and a half ago. So, <clears throat> but. Oh yeah, look at that clover there. Nice, nice, nice. But anyway, we'll shut these gates and we need to head up the road because I really don't know how much longer the storm's gonna hold off. I didn't think they were gonna get here till like midday, but uh, yeah, I would say that timeline has moved up quite a bit. Um, check on those new heifers. Uh, then gotta decide, do we wanna go ahead and move them into some better grazing as well or make them stay where they are? for just a little longer. Um, they've got hay in there, but we'll see. There's a good shot of a bunch of the calves. Like I say, they uh, got stuck in this pasture more or less. They gotta kinda go through the gate and then back down. And of course they just wanna go immediately to their moms, which means having to go through a fence, which they probably could do, but uh, they have not done. We're not gonna encourage them to, but um, there's our newest calf there. And our second newest one, 177, says she's getting out of here. She's not going to hang around and let us bother her calf. But yeah, we'll leave the gates open um, so moms can come and go as they wish. And I'll probably get these calves moved in here eventually. Uh, a few went ahead and came in. But yeah, we got other things to go do. As much as I probably could or would enjoy just sitting here watching them graze, listening to them munch grass, we got other things to get done before the storm hits. There's some of that rye that we fertilized what, about nine days ago, along with some of that pasture. Um, it's looking good. I'm excited for that kind of hay yield we may get off of it here in another um, month or two. Always a little nerve wracking. You pull up to the gate, you know, first morning after you bought cattle and you don't see them anywhere. Which I mean, there's, there's some timber in this pasture that they can be hidden off in, or heck, they could just be over this, <laughs> down in the little draw there. But I don't see them, so uh, yeah. Let's say a little prayer that they're here somewhere. Okay, so we can all take a deep sigh of relief. There they are. Oh, I can't make up my mind. I'd about half decided I was just gonna leave them in this pasture. Then I thought, well, if they're all back over here already, kind of in the general direction where we would move them into the next pasture. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know. Um, I think in the interest of time and the weather, we're gonna go ahead and leave them in here. Let's do a count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now they're all washed up again. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, uh, hey, I actually got all 30 of them. So, um, yeah, I think it's about to not just rain, but like storm its butt off. So they've still got plenty of hay up here. Um, we brought some feed and some mineral. Um, mineral is more for preparation if we do go to the next pasture. So we may just take it back home. But yeah, she's getting dark awfully early or awfully quickly. I wore my sunglasses for about five minutes this morning. No need at this point. Yeah, it's getting very dark very quickly. I mean, uh, sunrise was over an hour ago now. <laughs> um, but we'll see if we can get them to come up in here and put them some feed out. They're uh, they're pretty darn gentle to have been here, what, only about, what, it's 8 a.m. They got here about two o'clock yesterday afternoon, so what's up, math? 
been here about 18 hours. But uh, yeah, they've still got plenty of hay in both hay feeders, um, protein tub. I think we'll just leave them in here, maybe for the next day or two, because you're getting to the next pasture. Once it rains like that, I mean, we can do it in the Jeep. We can, we've done it plenty of times, but it's a lot nicer if it is a little bit dry. Yeah, there comes the rain. It's probably about to get wet. Easy now. Okay, so yeah, there comes the rain. Um, we'll mention to them using a brand new GoPro. Uh, been using the same one the entire time we've had this channel. We've still got our old one, but uh, yeah, don't want to ruin the new camera first time out. Get in, Sadie. Get in. See, there's the old camera. She's still doing some trips with us, which I'll point out. Obviously, it's been very windy. And so, uh, you know, I would assume this new camera has very good um, noise muffling or wind muffling. Um, we got the little apparatus on there. So, but I say all that, this is the first time out with it. Um, if there is some wind interference, I apologize. We'll make adjustments for next time. But, uh, yeah, I believe the bottom is about to fall out. I still got to open the gate. But I had planned on filming a fair bit more this morning, but it looks like our morning may be moving indoors now. And uh, then we got to head out of town. We got a softball tournament. So um, I guess what I'm getting is I may wrap this video up. Still got to check the calves on the other end of this farm, but I may have to wait and do that on our way out of town means I won't have time to get it in this video. Whatever. Y'all, I'm sure kind of understand those logistics. Yeah, it's about to really rain. But, appreciate y'all watching. Um, we're excited to get these heifers in. Um, oh, yeah, there it comes. Yep. Y'all stay dry. Y'all eat beef. And God bless. Woo-wee!